Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. On today's episode, I'll be showing you the best photos and clips of January and February 2022. Customer states, AC blown warm. Well, that was easy. Customer states, console lid looks like my ball sack. Please replace. All right, I gotta see this. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I guess it do kind of look like a ball sack. <laughs> Customer states that they heard a pop while driving and then it started to smoke and then stopped working. The mechanic said the customer declined further diagnosis and said he's going to leave the vehicle at the dealership to get repossessed. This customer wanted BMW to warranty the damage done to his vehicle because it was apparently not his fault he hit something on the highway. This customer said they couldn't get their lug nuts to stay tight, so this is what they did. This customer came in because they tried to fix their exhaust leak with JB Weld, but it still leaks. And this customer came in asking for some advice to fix his oil leak, because he's already tried some glue and flex seal spray, but it still leaks. This customer just resealed the oil pan, and now they're wondering why they can't remove their dipstick. Today we have a 19 Chevy Silverado with 40,000 miles on it, in for a uh, large EVAP leak. So let's just let's just take a look. Huh? I think they forgot to take that out. This customer came in for an oil leak, which they said it's on the driver's side at the rear of the vehicle. Customer came in today saying that their glove box opens up too violently. This was a customer's attempt at trying to install their own wiper blades. The customer said they have no brakes after a family member installed some new brake parts for them. This customer just changed the oil themselves and overfilled their engine by 8 quarts. This is after the mechanics drained the engine oil and filled it with the appropriate amount. The customer said their vehicle sounds like a dolphin when turning. And this customer said it sounds like they have a husky under their hood. A customer had this piece of metal hit his windshield on the way to work, and here's the dash cam footage just before it happened. This customer decided to drive on the lift themselves. This customer just bought this vehicle from an auction and brought it to the shop to get an exhaust leak checked out, and this is what else they ended up finding. This customer said they were pulling out of their driveway, then their vehicle stopped moving.
Customer states, hears road noise from driver's window at 160 miles per hour, and it goes away at 191 miles per hour. Customer came in for a tire repair. Repair? Yeah, yeah I don't think that's going to work, sir. And this customer had a nail in their tire and decided to fix it themselves. This customer drove 7 miles to the shop on this wheel. He somehow managed to get to the shop in one piece and got a new wheel installed. This vehicle just rolled in with a custom body kit that was held up with screws, duct tape and hopes and dreams. This is after the customer jump started their vehicle backwards. This pig was hanging out in a customer's vehicle when it came in for some work. Look at that bearing. Wow. That's very heavily scored. Customer states the low coolant light came on so they added 3 gallons of water. The customer ended up adding water to the engine instead of the radiator. The engine was started briefly by the customer but he ended up realizing what he did and got the vehicle towed to the shop. This vehicle got towed in after the customer's daughter hit a pothole. The double carton joint on the front drive shaft broke and did quite a bit of damage to this truck. A mechanic found the scooter underneath a customer's vehicle, and the customer said they have no idea how it got there. And this customer came in for a new windshield and to get their dashboard cleaned up after their kid got mad. This customer came in for two new tires and the mechanic realized that somebody tried to sabotage the customer's vehicle. And this mechanic found a GPS tracker on a customer's vehicle when it came in for some work. This customer brought in their vehicle because it went into limp mode after they tried installing their own radio. These were customers' attempts at installing their own batteries. Customer states they changed their battery 5 days ago and now their car is shaken and has been getting worse every day since. And this customer told the mechanic that they've been hearing this noise for the past two weeks and finally decided to bring it to the shop. The mechanic working on this vehicle heated up the seized pinch bolt. When he was loosening the bolt, the lower ball joint exploded.
If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. Thanks for watching.